Are you someone who uses Zoom for meetings or events, or you're just trying to stay up to date on the latest? Well, I'm an event producer who does a lot of things here in Zoom and share about it here on YouTube. And I'm very excited to break down some of the new features that I am the most excited about with the new 6.0 update that Zoom launched here in 2024. So stick around. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I launch new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson, where every listen to podcasts, think of these as like a deeper dive into the event world. We have a little bit on Zoom, but a lot more about event management, event production, running your own business. So if those topics interest you, give it a listen wherever you listen to podcasts. So whether you're using Zoom for meetings or you're still doing events in Zoom or you host webinars, staying up to date on the latest updates that Zoom pushes is really valuable. And so think of this as like your cheat sheet for what you need to know, or at least what I'm the most excited about. I'm not going to list all the features because there are so many and some of them are really small. Some of them you know, I'm going to do the ones that are more obvious and bigger. Like if I was with a client who worked with me about on Zoom would probably be like, hey, Logan, did you notice? And I'm going to list those right now. Now, Zoom 6.0, that came out April 15th. I'm recording this now towards the end of May. So they've had some reiterations of like, you know, the 0 0.0102. But 6.0 was a really big drop for them, mainly because the biggest highlight I say is they're going to change the look and feel of Zoom. So just take a look at this screenshot. It is very different um, in the sense that it is all black. Your bottom control bar looks different. If you go back and watch my older videos that I made on Zoom, they are gonna look different. Now, I wanna call that out because it's a big feature because you're gonna notice it, but not a lot of what your controls actually are or where they are have changed. Your mute, your audio and your video are still over in the left-hand corner, which we love. Your share button's still nice and green. Um, your chat, your participants, and then they've just added a few other things that you're gonna see in there. So it's gonna look a little different. Again, I'm using an, a Mac when I do these videos. You know I'm on a Mac all the time. Uh, and so this is a Mac that I'm using. Another noticeable feature is that the Zoom app is now actually called the Zoom Workplace app. So when you open like zoom.com on your uh, computer, it's gonna say Zoom Workplace. This threw me off personally just because I didn't really clock when this update happened and all of a sudden I was like, whoa, what happened to my Zoom app? So just a different name, again, same functionality. Uh, another thing that I'm excited about here in Zoom is that there's a new view. So I've done videos about speaker view, gallery view. Now there is this multi-speaker view, which you would find in the upper right-hand corner once you've updated to your latest Zoom. Um, and that's what it's going to do is it's going to make certain speakers when they're talking, it makes them bigger than everyone else. So think of it as like a hybrid speaker and gallery view where speaker view was just one speaker all the time. Gallery view is everyone. This, from how I've seen it in my meetings in the last couple of weeks since I've updated, is more it follows it could have up to four speakers up there if you're really having some quick back and forth um, and then it will take speakers away once they're like after they're done talking now that's not instantaneous um, i'm going to do a video kind of explaining more about the use of these features but that's a cool thing play around with it in your meetings i highly encourage you to get a feel for what that looks like to see if it's a good fit um, for you and your events there's also this uh, new wallpaper that you can do in your meetings. So you can actually change the background color in Zoom, um, specific for your account and your meeting. And so that's something that I think is a fun customizable tool, especially if you're someone who uses it a lot for work. I personally don't see a use for myself just because I work with so many different clients who have different looks and feels that I'll probably stick with the default for now, but that's a fun branding opportunity. And my last feature that I'm very excited about as an event producer is the customized waiting room feature. So this is a new update that is both for meeting and for webinar, but with just some nuances. For meeting, they are allowing you now to customize your waiting room experience. So when people are waiting for you to start the meeting, it's actually allowing you to customize the text and the image they see, or maybe it's a video. Again, that's something I see if you are using this maybe for leads or sales where a video would be applicable, but it could also just be a brand photo. So it just feels a little more, I don't know, personal for your waiting room. And I will do a video in the coming weeks showing you how to do that. 
Again, this is a pro version. I don't believe that's a feature for the free Zoom version, so you need to pay, but pro is just the one level up. And then the thing I'm really excited about for webinar is it is gonna allow you to see how many people are in the waiting room before you start your webinar. This is gonna be great. That is something that I've seen with some of my webinar clients where we have to, we're in the practice session and we are like the doors are closed of our physical meeting room and we aren't able to look in the hallway to see how many people are there. So by having visibility into who's in our waiting room, waiting for us to start our webinar, we will know, should we start on time? Maybe we give it a minute or two. That's just a great feature that I will say that I'm proud Zoom has rolled out for people because that'll be so helpful. So those were just a few of the new features. I don't want to overwhelm you with how many new updates they've made. Those are the ones that I think I'm the most excited about as of right now, right this moment. So I highly encourage you, if you haven't updated your Zoom, please go back and do so. I will link to my video down in the show notes about how to update your Zoom. I have mine set to auto update. And so that's where for me, it just came on April 15th. I logged in and whoa, my Zoom looked different. Um, but if it's something where you're not seeing some of these features I'm talking about, you need to either update your Zoom or if your Zoom's updated, you then need to have a paid version and not the free version. So hopefully that helps you out with your next Zoom meeting. Stay tuned. I'm going to be releasing so many more Zoom videos just because these updates are pretty significant um, and I want to keep you up to date. So thanks so much for listening and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.